Excision refers to a surgical procedure that's done under local anesthesia, where a lesion and skin that looks normal around it is removed with the goal of making sure that the lesion has been completely removed from the skin. There are many reasons that your doctor may decide an excision is appropriate for you. The most common things that we excise are skin cancers, which include basal cell and squamous cell carcinoma, atypical moles, and melanoma. In these situations, we have a lesion in the skin that we want to make sure to completely remove and therefore consider you cured. The incidence of skin cancer is increasing rapidly. Currently, we believe that one out of every five people will have a skin cancer by the time they're 70 years old. Skin cancer has several appearances. Sometimes it can look like a new bump that does not heal or bleeds easily or scales. Sometimes we have new or changing moles. If there are any of these concerns, seeing a dermatologist to evaluate the lesion is appropriate. The first step in evaluating a suspicious lesion is performing a biopsy. The only purpose of a biopsy is to diagnose the lesion. The purpose is not to excise or completely remove the lesion. That is something that follows a biopsy if the diagnosis warrants complete removal. The excision is a procedure that usually takes about 30 minutes to an hour. It's an outpatient procedure that typically occurs in an office and uses local anesthesia. That means that you are awake but do not feel anything that we are doing. The first step is to identify the site. And usually there is a scar from the biopsy or the initial sample that tells us that we have something that needs to be removed. The area is cleaned, and then we take a surgical marker and mark normal skin around the lesion. The amount of normal skin depends on what we're removing. Basal cells and squamous cells typically have about four to five millimeters of normal appearing skin, whereas melanoma can be anywhere from five millimeters to a centimeter or even more. Following that, the area is numbed with local anesthetic. That means that we do numb the skin, but you are awake, although you don't feel anything that we're doing. After the area is surgically cleaned and draped, then the area is excised, which does involve a scalpel. The area is cut and removed, and the skin is sent to the lab. Following that, the area is sutured closed, and a bandage is applied. A nurse following the procedure will go over with you how to take care of it, and the post-operative considerations to optimize your healing. While there will be a scar after skin surgery, we do suture the area closed nicely to optimize cosmetic results. Using excellent suturing techniques and following the directions for the after-surgery care result in very natural appearing outcomes. Recovering from skin cancer surgery depends on where the surgery was performed. If a lesion is excised from the face, the typical downtime for that area is one week. There will be some wound care and bandaging involved, and we do ask that physical activity is limited to walking and low exercise during that entire week. Nothing that involves heavy sweating or increases in blood pressure. That is because it increases your risk for bleeding and also does slow down the healing. On the body, so arms, trunk, legs, the healing time is longer. In that area, it's usually about two weeks that we ask people to continue with wound care and bandaging and to limit their physical activity so that the surgical area can be at rest as much as possible. After that time, you can restart your previous exercise and physical routines. The outcomes of excision are very good for the appropriately selected lesions. Skin cancers on the face tend to be treated with Mohs surgery, while skin cancers on the body tend to be treated with excision. Cure rates for excision exceed 90%. For the remaining 10% of lesions, the options are to either re-excise the surgical area or to switch to an alternative procedure called Mohs surgery, 